people. Happy New Year, beautiful people. Ciao, beautiful people. So we crossed uh, into Chile, but we will talk about that uh, in three videos. Uh, for now, we would like to wish you a beautiful and happy 2020 happy new year this year ended in a weird way uh, we didn't expect uh, it would go like this uh, and uh, something really sad uh, thanks to you guys uh, became something really special so for that we are super grateful to all the community and all of you guys. We would like to tell you a, a story that is really meaningful for us. It's a story about a rock, a stone. We were on the Alaska Highway, exactly in Watson Lake, where there is the sign forest. There was an accident with a truck full of fuel and every gas station in, in the town was running out of gas so we were stuck in this little town and for the first time in our adventure we felt stuck so we say okay what we gonna do what we do now and we we were just outside of lucky Liu when we watch on the ground and we saw a rock a purple rock and i grabbed this rock and this was the rock now it's really difficult to to read on the rock, it, there is written fearless. From that moment on, Luca and I, we decided that this will be our mantra. This will be the way we are going to live this adventure. This is the way that we want to live every day. And this doesn't mean that we want to risk, to risk our life. Fears block you, fears stop you from living a life full of full of love, full of beautiful things. A full life. Yeah, so what we really would like to wish to you guys is to have a 2020 without fears. Being vulnerable is 100% okay, but you don't have to, to have the fear to say that you love someone. You don't have to have the fear to go to, to work or to change your job if you don't like it, to say something. It doesn't mean uh, that if you don't have fears, uh, you don't think about things. Uh, yeah. It's really important to think about things and a plan uh, and do research, uh, everything you need to do. But then uh, you don't have to have uh, fears uh, stopping you to do what you love, uh, to do what uh, you dream, uh, to do what uh, you should be doing. Yeah. So this is our best wish uh, to all of you guys, uh, 2020. Without fears, or at least the fears that is stopping you from doing what you want to do and from doing what you would like to do or you would love to do. So now guys, uh, let's go back to Peru. We have three more videos about Peru coming on uh, on our YouTube channel, Live Everything and Wonder. This was the day that Trent and Ellie left and they went back to the United States. And a few days before, just when we went back from Machu Picchu, we, we faced some problems with Lucky Liu. Let's go back to Peru. Ciao guys! Good morning beautiful people! Today we broke uh, Lucky Liu's brakes. Uh, Fortunately, I broke it here, in this flat uh, road. I was making some maneuvers uh, to park Lucky Liu because we were parked here with uh, Trentanelli. I moved Lucky Liu to let, us, let them uh, go out. Uh, they had to go to Cusco. And uh, when I was parking again, I pressed the brakes uh, and then uh, suddenly the, the, the pedal went really like and didn't break anymore all the oil uh, came out uh, and now there is the oil you can see here the oil the brakes oil coming out so now i will check what is broken i go underneath uh, and wait should be i think it's there is a pipe of the the brake line you can definitely see there 
where it's broken. Okay guys, sorry for the head, but I will be going under Lucky Liu all the time. I will be on the ground, on the dirt, uh, all dirty. So I have to cover my long hair. It keeps going in my eyes. Uh, so what I will do now is uh, I will show you where the brake line uh, is broken. And I have to follow all the brake line and see where I can disconnect it. Because I cannot drive like you, so I will disconnect the line, the broken line, trying to go somewhere where they can build a new one. Because here we call all the places, and you cannot find a new one uh, pre built, so they will build a new one for us. I will see if I can find a cheap way to go to Cusco, and uh, because there is the only shop who builds this. We are in Pizac right now, and there is this big mountain between uh, Pizac uh, and Cusco so I cannot drive uh, the car without brakes there you can see where the pipe is broken that uh, rusty pipe is the brake line and it's broken up there and it goes uh, all the way from the front of the truck uh, back here and it goes back there to the to the rear wheels. Okay, so on the back, you can see here it's where the uh, the line arrives, right there. So I will have to disconnect the the pipe here. Here in the front, uh, we have uh, this uh, thing here that it works uh, for the rear brakes. Uh, it's a kind of ABS, ABS, that when the rear wheels stop, it works kind of like an ABS. So the pipe will be able to disconnect it from here. Okay, so guys, these two are the only two tools I have. I will see if I will be able to take the brake lines out uh, just with the two tools uh, I have. Uh, let's try. I have no options. No other options. Yes, yes. Beautiful people. I've been able to disconnect uh, the front one. There you can see. Disconnect the front part. Uh. Now I'm trying to take out all the, the pipe goes all inside the chassis, uh, in there, in there, back there. Okay, so I managed to take the big back one also out, as you can see here. It's in a really, really, really bad position. I had to put the car up there on some rocks. Oh, there is a dog here. Hello, little dog. <laughs> I managed to remove uh, all the line. It's really long. Uh, it goes from there to the back. It splits here in the middle. I didn't know that until I unplug it from the front and the back. And here is where it's broken. I don't know if you can see the hole. Now it's not on pressure. But uh, here you can see how corrosive all the corrosion the hole is really small but when it's in pressure all the oil come off okay guys uh, i'm letting sarah there i'm letting lucky you i don't know if you can spot sarah waving up there i'm letting sarah there and uh te llamas? i'm going with the raul uh, to uh, Cusco, there is Sara over there. The, uh, the Pizac uh, Cusco. I am bringing with me all the the parts, uh, the brake lines, uh, and uh, over there they told me that they can build it uh, really fast. Uh, they told me it will take like 10 minutes. Uh, I already told to Raúl uh, it could take uh, uh, half an hour. I don't know how much, uh, but they told me just 10 minutes. But uh, I don't know, I will have to buy also the brake fluid, hopefully 
we'll be able to do everything. Let's go. Hi everyone, beautiful people. I'm sick. I got a cold, I got a flu. Uh, this morning we broke our brakes line. So Luca went now with um with a taxi with a driver to Cusco because here in Pisa there is just one mechanic but they are not able to to fix it or to replace it and it's pos it's impossible to find a pre-made uh, brick line so um, they need to build one for us so Luca spent two three hours in order to just remove the old brake lines uh, both of them was really in a difficult position I heard he was struggling a lot and as you know we have like few tools he, I think he's just using some wrenches uh, with uh, the help of Jorge our backup in uh, Los Angeles so I wish I could go with Luca you know that we uh, love to go everywhere together but I'm so sick that I cannot even stand I just want to lay down in the bed and editing so um, I tried to to do some work we didn't have lunch so I'm waiting for him now it's 2.20 Cusco is one hour away and then he will go to a mechanic that will bring Luca to another place where they can do they can build the the brake line I feel really bad every time um, we are rushing or we are a little bit in stress my immune defense I think they just go down the last two months I'm really weak I'm really weak and all with those these uh, altitude changes and temperature changes hiking we hike like 18 kilometers to Machu Picchu the last two days so Saturday and Sunday uh, all the editing um, and then this morning we were so lucky that we were here in this place that is just flat okay guys so I keep working I will wait for for Luca to be back I miss him so much even if it's just two minutes okay so I made it to the shop it's this green uh, building our guy is called Alex I'm waiting for him he will arrive here I called him he told me He's, uh, he's fixing a car around and he will arrive soon. I was waiting for Alex. Alex is a mechanic that uh, will show us where to go to buy new, new lines. So the new lines will not be like the original one, will be in another material, bronze, something like that. And uh, I hope we will do to Argentina. So we have Alex. Okay, so this one will be the new one. Now we will cut it and make the shape like the old one. As you can see, all here we have to make the right shape, otherwise, they will break. Since the American cars have different size, we're putting uh, again uh, the old ones on the new pipe. So they're welding new bolts. What? Put it on. They're welding on the old parts. Since uh, when I took off uh, the, the parts, uh, I ruined uh, the, the bolts uh, because I didn't have the tools. Now the mechanic will lend me some tools uh, and uh, uh, with the new bolts I uh, will be able to close it harder so we will not have leakings uh, and uh, without ruining them. We made it, I have the tools, uh, I have the new lines, uh, 
it's already dark, it's 6 uh, 15. We are trying to go back and now we have 45 minutes, one hour back to Pizak. And after more than four hours, Luca is finally back home. Guys, we have only one phone, so we couldn't communicate uh, between us. Uh, so I said to Sara, you know, like it's one hour to get to Cusco and probably they will take 20 minutes and uh, one hour to go back. So we, we thought it would be something about two or three hours, uh, but uh, it went uh, more than four hours uh, and uh, it's already dark. Uh, I couldn't say to Sara, you know, everything's okay. I'm coming back home. Look, I see now, guys. I'm happy, super happy. Sick, but happy. I will try to to put one piece on just to put Lucky Liu down because we want to sleep uh, now Lucky Liu is on the rocks uh, because I couldn't lift uh, Lucky Liu so the only way to lift it uh, to be able to go underneath okay guys so this is the current situation Lucky Liu it's lift uh, on these rocks uh, in order to be able to fit uh, underneath and put the pipes it's completely dark uh, but uh, since I don't want to sleep uh, completely you know in the with the bed completely messed up uh, i will try to put the the new lines uh, to, tonight uh, so i can go i can put lucky Liu down the rocks and sleep uh, in a normal way i pay uh, 108 uh, soles uh, for the new pipes uh, 100 soles uh, to the guy who the driver. to the driver of the minivan uh, to bring me there wait for me and come back uh, then I paid uh, 26 soles uh, the dot 3 uh, liquid for the brakes uh, tomorrow is Sara is feeling well she will help me to take the air from the lines uh, and put the new liquid for the brakes. Good morning, beautiful people. Last night, Luca was able to install the new brake lines. And now, camera to you, babies. Good morning, beautiful people, new day. Okay, so today we will be bleeding out the air of the brake lines. Uh, Okay, Sarah's job for the day will be be pumping uh, the brake down there. Pump. Just keep pump, pumping. Pump, pump, pump. Keep pumping. You can see how soft uh, it's a brake right now. There is no pressure at all. So today she will be pumping, uh, keeping the, the pump down, and I will be so bl keep blowing the. Keep, keep, you tell me. Keep, keep. Okay. Just keep your foot on the pedal down this little thing up here it's what you want to open uh, a little bit uh, to make the air come out uh, we found the right size uh, it's a quarter so you just need to open just a little bit and it just break off you can see in there so this is really really bad you can try to fix this but it's probably it's not not here, but like in the States, it would probably be easier to just replace the drum brake that has a new pepcock. Um, or you can try and like use an easy out to remove this and try to replace it, but obviously finding parts here is like your problem. Yeah. As long as as long as you can get the lines bled yeah. and like get pressure, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Unless you have to replace this brake, that's the only time you'd ever really need to bleed the drum, but in the States, you could just go to a junkyard and find this brake assembly and probably buy yeah. it for like 30 bucks mm. and have this and a whole brand new everything and no problem, but- We are in Peru. We're not in the <laughs> States, yeah, exactly. And they don't, I mean, I haven't really seen any of these trucks. No. Down there, so yeah, just, uh, a lot of you 
just commenting always ah but in the United States you can get this easy uh, it's easy to fix yes but guys rem just remember we are in South America we are in Peru everything is so difficult to find especially for our Ford it's a Ford 250 1990 so every time we break something it's a mess hey, what are you doing now Luca because you broke the first possibility and now Okay. Try number two. Didn't work. Two. The front part, uh, there is like an uh, ABS. Uh. <laughs> it's really soft. Uh. It's getting better. Like, yeah. it was this soft uh, before? My goal is to make it harder than that, than how it was before. Yeah. What are you doing down there? <coughs> I will see if I can... Bleed the ABS? Yeah. Okay, now it's closed. Feels pretty tough. I should test it on the road to see how it's breaking. Today we bleed all the brake system, so now we are ready to test it on the road and see how it works. Okay, Luca. Okay, let's try. Let's see now if it breaks. Three, two, one. Good. Yeah, I think it's even better than uh, before. Before. Okay. Bye, Leo Crew. Bye, Leo Crew. Thanks for letting us hang out with these guys for a few weeks. Okay, so we are back to traveling alone. Yeah. We would love to fly back home, hug our families. Uh, you know, the Christmas time uh, for us in Italy is the time you, you have, uh, it's a must. Uh, to spend it with family yeah. so we are super like uh, sad it's the second year the, the first year we flew back to Italy to celebrate with our parents and our families and now it's two years in a row that we don't fly home for back for Christmas so our families are sad we are sad as well we decide to travel the world uh, with Lucky Liu and explore uh, we know that uh, when we will finish this adventure, we will have a, a little bit of time to spend with our families. Uh, Who knows? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> we will keep traveling, but probably we can try to travel a little bit closer. They are super, super, super lucky to be able, you know, to go back home, uh, get um, three weeks uh, of uh, the van life. Uh, van life, it's super nice, super cool, but uh, sometimes you need a little bit of... Uh, yeah. You know, a, a normal house, uh, family, uh, not be traveling every day, not having to think uh, where to park, uh, getting water, having a hot shower somewhere. Well, so we, this is our choice. So yes, we made a commitment. We chose to be here on the road, and we here we are. Here we are. We hope that you like our own content, that you appreciate our efforts to publish three to four videos every week. It is a huge job. And yeah, see you guys soon for an amazing adventure. We have uh, some, uh, some... Some big plans. Some big plans. Love you, appreciate you. See you in the next one. Please yeah. give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Consider to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to see all our new videos. Sometimes we publish four videos a week, uh, so if you're not used uh, to which day we're publishing with the notification bell, it would be easier to you to see our videos. Guys, ciao. Ciao, guys. Love you. See you in the next one. Okay, guys, we have a super surprise. Uh, Trentanelli went away and they told us that we can travel with their van. So from now on, uh, we will start traveling with this new van, uh, Lucky Pamela. Liu. With Pamela. Lucky Liu was too old, uh, the brakes uh, were broken, uh, we had a lot of problems. So we can get the van and the motorcycle and have a lot of fun. 
Thank you, Trentanelli. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Merry See Christmas. You down the road. <laughs> Merry Christmas to us. Uh, you then. <laughs> happy holidays. Ciao, guys. You can have Lucky Liu when you're back. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>